This is John Cleese Carl with his YouTube channel and this is a Lotus Evora, not just any Evora, Evora that's been treated to a load of gear by ourselves, John Cleese. Now I'm going to take you around what we've done. Obviously this is the more comfortable version of the Lotus, so the customer wanted a few creature comforts. So we've added Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a nice modern touchscreen, as well as a reverse camera so the customer can easily maneuver. Now we're going to stay outside the car because we're going to show you what the reverse camera looks like. Now these cars come with a factory option reverse camera from Lotus, but it went faulty. Now these are a bit of an undertaking to change. We're talking whole rear bumper off, rivets being drilled a lot to change this rear camera. So as much as it looks nice and easy and simple there, this was a whole day's work just to put, just to replace the camera, the faulty one. But as you can see, we put it in the original position where the Lotus camera would have been from factory. This is a pedestal style camera. So that's why it hangs down on a little bracket. You don't see the bracket because it goes up behind the plastic here. It means we can get a great viewing angle for the customer on this Lotus because this camera is quite low. That automatically comes on in reverse on the screen we've fitted. Now the screen we've done is a Kenwood. Now these screens standard have a 15 year old Alpine because it was fitted when the car was new. That's now come out and we fitted the Kenwood DMX 8021. Three year warranty when installed by ourselves. One of our most popular units uh, from 2023 and now into 2024 which we're in. This unit's got wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, so no need to plug the phone in and no requirement for any separate wireless interfaces. This is built-in wireless Android Auto. Now my phone's already connected to it, so you can see Apple CarPlay is highlighted, so I can select here, and now I've got Apple CarPlay. You've got shortcuts on the left, we haven't done it yet, but you can actually move these to the right-hand side for right-hand drive car, that's done in the menu. Just haven't done that before this video started recording, so we will do that. Now the customer's got access to all their music apps, like Apple Music, uh, Tidal, Spotify if you use it, and also internet radio apps like Radio Player and TuneIn and Talk Radio. Navigation apps are an abundant amount of selection. You've got Sigic, you've got Google Maps, you can use TomTom, you can use Waze, you can use Apple Maps. So many navigation apps you can use on this unit. Obviously it comes with the simple features like DAB, Bluetooth. This car is a fiberglass body, so we didn't have a uh, DAB aerial on display here. Where is the DAB aerial on this one? because it's so subtle, I can't see it. It's so subtle, literally right up the top there. There you go, so DAB air, we've mounted it so, so far at the very top in the dot matrix, so I, from the driver's seat, can't even see it. So rather than going down the left-hand side, we've actually mounted it up there, so when the customer's in the driver's position, you don't even see the DAB air, like on a lot of installations we have to do. Other than that, it is really a double DIN and a reverse camera. Now, if I put it in reverse, this will automatically come up with the image. And there we go. So you can actually see some of our John Cleese number plate in the bottom right and bottom left. And you can see all the way up to the roof of the car behind me. That's how good the viewing angle is on this camera. It's got guidelines, which can be moved on the Kenwood screen if you want them in different positions. But as you can see, this is gonna help the customer in this. Well, looking behind me, I don't have much in the way of viewing angle. It's extremely limited view on the back of this car. So this is very handy to have on these motors. So this is the Creature Comfort version of a Lotus Evora giving the customer everything they need and nothing they don't need. We put the splash screen on, if you saw that earlier as well, so that's quite a nice little touch. On 99% of cars, we can have the logo of your car come up on the screen when it's booted on, just to make it more in keeping 